G'day guys, today I've got a new and improved version of one of my old strategies that I call attack, defend and double. Now if you haven't seen the other video, don't worry, because just by watching this video you'll be able to understand the system and hopefully be walking away from your next casino visit with everyone asking what your strategy to win so much was. Before we begin, I just want to say that this video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not promote or condone any type of real money, gambling or betting. It's important to remember that no matter what game or strategy you pick, on a long enough timeline, the house always wins. So please remember to gamble responsibly and only with money you can afford to lose. Basically, this strategy looks at the last three results of the Baccarat table in order to determine where to place your bet. Now, unlike the old strategy, this one has three different betting patterns. That way you can switch between them depending on how much action your bets are seeing. Whenever you start betting with this system, you always start in what I call defend mode. Now in defend mode, your betting patterns are designed to catch the streaks of results as well as protecting against the terrible twos, as they're called. That's where the winner switches from player to banker and then back to player and then just keep alternating back and forth. Now I'll put the table up on the screen now so you guys can see what bets you should be placing in defend mode. Now the key part of this strategy is is the second type of betting. If at any point while you're playing in defend mode, you manage to lose your bet three times in a row, you swap into what I call attack mode. Now this is a much more aggressive and off the beaten track style kind of betting. And essentially it's the exact opposite of what defend mode was. Now once again, I'll include the table here for you guys. That way you can look at it, but as you'll notice, it's pretty much the exact opposite of what you would be betting when you're playing in normal mode. Basically, this means that if your previous strategy wasn't working and there's no streaks or rapid chops being shown in the board, then this mode will hopefully be able to win you back some of your money. Now, if you lose two times in a row while in this betting mode, then you should swap back to defend mode. Now, there's one additional style of betting mode that I call the double mode. Now, you should only ever swap to this betting scheme when you see the pattern player, banker, banker, player, player, or banker, player, player, banker, banker. Basically, you're seeing those two players and two bankers starting to form. Now, whenever you see these patterns starting to form, you should start betting in doubles mode. This is designed to try and catch those patterns of when the ball is alternating back and forth but with two bets each time instead. While betting like this, if you manage to lose a single time while in this mode, then you should swap back to the previous mode that you were betting with, either the attack or the defend mode. As with all the systems, it's probably going to be easier to understand if you see it in action. So as always, I'm going to be putting this strategy through its paces and testing it out with some of my own money to show you guys exactly how it works. Alrighty guys, so let's get straight into it, hey? I've got my guide up on my second screen, which if you're interested in getting, I'll leave a link down below where you can find it. But basically what we're gonna do is you can see I've loaded up 200 bucks over here. So I'm gonna choose a $20 betting amount. So I'm gonna place two $10 chips. That's gonna be my bet amount. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go and have a look at the last three results. So you can see it's been player, player, player. We're gonna look at the player, player, player. And if we check against the sheet, we're going to start in defend mode. So if we have a look, that means when we look down, we're going to have to place our bet on player. So I'm going to place two bets on player, and then we're going to deal. So here we go. We get one card dealt. The banker gets one card, and we lose that one. So we count that as our first loss. Now, you got to remember, if we lose three times in a row, that's when we switch to our attack pattern. So now the last three over here are player, player, banker. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look back to our chart and we can see that on defend mode, it tells us to bet on banker. So I'm gonna double and put my $20 there. So now we're both gonna get Delta card. There we go, so there's a win. So that kills our, our three loss streak and now we're on a win again. So we're gonna keep betting with these. So we've got player, banker, banker. Checking against our sheet, we have a look and it means we're gonna to have to bet on banker once again. So we place our bet on, bl on blanker, on banker, there we are. We get an eight, so there's another win. So now, as you can see, we're starting to get a banker streak. This is where this type of defend mode comes in handy. Because what it says is if we have three bankers in a row, we're gonna bet on banker once again. And you can see here, that's actually worked out for us. So, boom, there's our win. We're now definitely in the profit margin. See, even with our bet down, we're $17 up. So we're four each, he gets dealt another card. I'm pretty sure the banker stands. B 
Beautiful. So there we go. We've got another win. So you can see this is a perfect example of how the defend system works. Basically, when you get onto these streaks of where it's banker, 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 or player, 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 this is where this strategy will actually manage to start making you a heap of money. So this is really good. If if we were seeing, you know, banker player, banker player, and it was alternating every time, then this strategy would also work. This strategy helps against those terrible twos, and it should hopefully stop, you know, from us losing from anything. Well, not a $30 bet, we wanna go 20 on the banker, and we're just gonna keep going until this streak finally fails. So here we go. This is the first time the streak's failed. So that's our first loss. But now it's changed, we've gotta go back to the chart. We have a look, it goes banker, banker, player, we actually put our next bet on player. So that was our first loss. We're going to go again. This is our second loss here because we've got a five and a seven now. So that's our second loss. But if we go back to the chart, we see banker, player, banker. Or banker, player, banker. Our next bet is player. This is to check against any of those quick chops. So this is going to be our third bet. If we lose this one, that's okay because then it'll let me show you what happens. So we actually managed to win this one. So here you can see we're starting to get this choppy pattern where it's going banker, player, banker, player. So now next, if you've checked the chart, but I just know we're gonna go with banker and see if we can keep this choppy pattern going. So he gets one card. Boom, there we go. So this is another perfect example. Whereas the last strategy that I showed you guys, it didn't have any protection against these terrible twos. And if you were betting on, you know, on betting on the system, if it happened to be like bang, 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 you would end up losing a lot of your money. Whereas this system actually stops that from happening because that's when, you, if you lose three times in a row, you go to the alternate system. So this system at the moment is killing it. I haven't even had to switch to the attack or the double strategy. So here we go, we've had bank up, play up, play up. So we've lost that streak now. So you can see here, if we check the chart, we have banker, banker, player. In normal mode, our next bet is player. So this will be our second bet. If we lose, it'll be our second loss. So we get dealt one more card, that's a zero. That's our second loss. So now we've got player, player, banker. Check the chart, it tells us to go on banker. So here we go. And boom. Oh, we lose this one as well. So there you go, there's our third loss. So now what happens is we're actually gonna switch into attack mode. So if we have a look, we check player, banker, player. Now we check against attack mode. And if we have a look there, what it tells us to bet on is actually player. Normally we'd be trying to chase that chop, but I think with this one, the chop's gonna start alternating and gonna start messing us up. So there's a perfect example. Had we gone continuing with that chop pattern, we would have lost. But because we've switched to attack mode, we keep going. So now we check against the chart again, banker, player, player, tells us to bet banker because we're not thinking a streak's gonna come. And there we go, we get banker once again. The next one, we have player, player, or player, 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 banker. There we go, sorry, it gets a bit confusing saying player and banker so many times. But that means what we're gonna bet on next is player. So we're gonna go, we're gonna place our next one because we're in attack mode, and bingo, there we go. So this is a prime example. Had that, had that have been a banker, what you would have noticed, so had that been banker, player, player, banker, banker, that's when we're starting to get the double. So we're starting to get the two of each, you know, of each winner. And then that is when you want to in switch into doubles mode. So when you're playing doubles mode, you want to start doing those bet betting patterns. And if you win, stay in doubles mode. The second that you lose one hand or one game, then you want to switch back to the previous mode that you were playing. So for me, if I swapped to doubles there, say it had been the banker, we'd swap to doubles, do the next hand. If it lost, I would switch back to attack mode. But since it was player, we're going to do one more bet on player, banker, player. So we check the chart, player, banker, player. Attack mode tells us to go on player. So there we go. We place the other bet. And we the banker gets one card, he gets the win. And that's unfortunate. So sadly, we lose that game. But as you can see down here, guys, we've gone from the 200 bucks that I started with to 297 in, I don't know, about the five minutes that I've been playing. 
But hopefully from that short amount of time, you've actually made, managed to understand how this system works and how you can use it to become a winner. So once again, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, if you're interested in trying to find the chart, you know, you could write it down or just print it out and that way you've got it with you so you can refer to it. But if you just play a couple practice games on an online simulator or something, you'll learn how it works pretty quickly and it'll become second nature before you know it. But I hope that guys helps you out. I hope that but I hope that helps you out guys. I hope you learned something and if you did, make sure you chuck me a like and a follow and a subscribe and you know all the things. Check me out on all the other socials because it's crazy, you know, it's great knowing that you guys are enjoying this stuff and I really want to help you guys out. So anyway, that's all from me and I'll see you next time. Cheers guys.